champagne. They only they go. Hey, what's up, people? My name is Tunde Obey. And I'm Mommy Obey. And together we're known as Two. Two. You're watching Personality, Personality of the Week right here on Nigeria. Baba God bless you now. Who are be here? That's such a wide question. I mean, I've been around for almost 50 years. So, what, I mean, what aspect? Okay, I was born in the late 60s. Um, to, I was born in the late 60s. To the late um, ambassador, Mrs. Obey. Um, my father was a diplomat, he was an ambassador. I spent the early part of my life traveling to different countries. Um, at some point, I discovered my musical talent because I used to sing in class, and people would always point fingers and say, "Ah, that guy is good." Uh, before I knew it, I was drafted into the school band at St. Gregory's College when we came back to Nigeria. And music has just been a journey since then. Met this lovely woman in 1988, and uh, we've been together ever since. At some point, we got married, and uh, here we are. Five albums, three children, <laughs> and a lot of successes later. You want to talk about your inside now? Okay. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was also um, I was also born in the sixties, but you know, I always say I might be forty something, I might be thirty something, but in my heart, I'm twenty something. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I was born right here, right here in Lagos, Lagos State, but. I'm a, I'm a typical on my bad So what are you good? I used to yap Ibadan people. It's better take time now. Anyway, <laughs> so um, from Ibadan, and um, yeah, I went to brain school. From there, I attended Queen's College, from Queen's College, went to University of Lagos, where I studied philosophy. I met this gentleman, this wonderful gentleman. And um, uh, somewhere in between secondary school and university, I got together with a uh, uh, group of girls well, sisters, uh, late Bobby Benson's daughters, and then we formed a band called Swark, all-female band. To date, I believe we're the only all-female band that existed. And when I say all-female band, I don't mean like Spice Girls. I mean like Yinka on drums, Rumi on bass, Jumoke on keyboards, and Bodhuri uh, uh, the, playing the lead guitar. So we had that group, we were called Swark, which stood for Sealed with a Loving Kiss. And um, we played on campuses until each of us had to go to school. Uh, the other girls, they had to go abroad uh, to study. And that was how the group split up. After the group split up, I was in Unilag by myself. And then I came across this band called Turning Point. Uh, in Turning Point, they had this lead singer called Tunde Obe, who I, who I met. And that is how we, <laughs> that is how we met and got together. So I joined the band there. And you know, like you said, the rest is history. Initially, in fact, there was a time when a lot of people don't even really, really, really know because our history is so long. Initially, before we got married, long before we got married, we used to sing, I mean, apart from the band, Turning Point, we would do, we would do shows and we would sing separately. We could. I could get up and do something, she would get up and do something different. But you see, like I always tell people, the TWO, I mean, it wasn't like I was there when or when they named her, she was there when they named me. The way our initials click means that maybe we were destined to sing together. So we kept on finding ourselves like when we do, when we do, when she, when she would do a song, I'll do a song. Then when we do a duet, that would be the highlight of the night. So we find that our duets will always get you more and more applauses than our individual performances sometimes. Um, so we continued, and before we knew it, we were recording an album together and the uh, two was born. You know, I think it's just destiny. I can't say a deliberate attempt to become showbiz couple. You know, um, to be honest with you, I think being, being a show, showbiz couple has been the greatest challenge that we've had in our career. Um, because you find that even even artists, male artists that get married, always see a law in their fan base. And female artists that get married also. 
uh, because it's very difficult to our own culture is such that when somebody is married and when you know people are like ah no married man you know so for us to actually be presenting ourselves as a couple means that our entire career has depended 100 percent on our music it's all about the music there's really there's really if you don't play good music we won't be around that's just it other people can use gimmicks and all other things to 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 keep themselves going keep themselves fresh there's so many kind of videos that me and i can't shoot because we're like role models and because a lot of people are looking up to us so even our to make our videos very interesting yet restricted in terms of um pg content you know has been difficult i think um, people should if, if nobody wants to part us on our but i mean our part we can part in here we've tried man <laughs> two, 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 two. No. i don't know how to explain i think i am going insane the love is busting my brain i'm in front of a moving train this was which one this was the first thing no, I don't know. I don't remember. When we did the first album, you know, there was not the, the music. We've always been like the way I can describe it. It's almost as like if we, we we exist in another music industry. We've always existed in another music industry. Our music has never been the run of the. It's never been what everybody else is doing. So from the, when we first came out with the first album, it was Galala. That was raining. Galala was raining, and that was it. We had just moved in from the reggae era into Galala when our own first album came out and we did a song like Tomorrow, you know, I mean, it was just so far yes. away from it, but people just loved it and the reason they loved it was because it stood out. If you play five videos on, on TV, when you play Tomorrow, Tomorrow was just different. Then we did the way, way you still love me tomorrow. tomorrow. Then we did the way, we did Jafumi and uh, I think, I can't say which one was the first hit, I think it was Tomorrow. Tomorrow was the first song that was really like accepted but a lot of people like the way because it was also a gospel track so um but before i mean the big hits of course were mobomo yeah the second the third album mobomo yeah and adupe well, at first it was a little bit challenging because you know there were babies and we had to uh trust our nannies you know and believe in god that Whenever we weren't there, they were taking good care of them, you know, and we hope till today that they did. Um, but, you know, I mean, over the years, they're now big. They're not babies anymore. The youngest is 11. And um, uh, it's been a lot easier. All you have to do is explain something to them and, you know, they understand. We have to go play. We have to go do this and that. They understand. The only one that is always hard to explain to them that, and I try not to compromise when it comes to school stuff, there's a concert, sports day, uh, PTF graduation, prize giving ceremonies, and things like that. Um, you don't want to tell your child that you don't have time for that, you know. So you have to prioritize in that regard. And I personally don't have any issues about that. I know where my priorities lie. I have prioritized, prioritized well, in my own opinion, and my family comes first. So at the end of the day. It's not. It's not hard work. It's not. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, so coping. And together, sing along with me. Check one, check two, check three. Put your hands together. Sing along with me. Check one, check two, check three. Put your hands together. Sing along with me. Check one, check two, check three. Well, I, I, like I always try to <clears throat> make it clear that I'm not. I don't try to make it look like I'm an expert. Yeah, we've been around for a long time, but I mean, I, I can only base anything I see on my relationship. Um, I, I've known about people who have unfortunately met the wrong partner. So I think it starts from the very beginning. Did you meet the right person? Is this person somebody you can spend the rest of your life with? You know, the things that make you infatuated or the things that make you attracted to this person, if they faded away, would you still be in love? You know these are the questions that you have to ask yourself from the very very beginning um hooking up with somebody that you want to get married to the most important thing is marry your friend somebody like if you're with somebody and something happens to you who's the first person you want to call and say i see you good news or bad news or in between news or who's that first person you want to call that should be the person you're thinking about getting married to I, i've seen a lot of people who who have a female best friend 
who they share everything with they, you know and yet they're in love they're, they're saying they're in love with another person you should, you should actually be concentrating on that on that your best friend because that's that's the relationship that's going to endure uh through time or other things fade away friendship endures forever so that's the first that's the first thing you know then of course respect communication the, the normal principles that everybody knows um respect you have to mind somebody you respect if there's no if there's no respect or regard for your partner it won't last um you have to communicate nobody is a mind reader don't assume uh, you know oh he did this he's expecting me to do this abby i'm going to do this so that he can do this before you know it, the whole thing is becoming complicated express yourself leave your pride uh, you know out of your relationship talk to each other like human beings with a lot of dignity and respect and you know um it's not it's never a cake walk it's never a walk in the park but you know one way or the other you get through it if, if the friendship is real did you mention humility that's what i was saying oh. leave your ego oh okay you know out of a relationship yeah. it's very 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 important yeah. you know that uh, you don't go into any relationship with that ego or chip on yeah. your shoulder i'm a star don't you know who i am when it comes to you and that special person you, you should just be tunde and wumi all the other paraphernalia of office <laughs> Leave it at the door. Leave it at the door, man. I'll call myself an entrepreneur by nature. <laughs> by nature, you know. Uh, there's a hair salon. There's a business center. There's about to be a restaurant. Um, there's the, apart, like you said, um, other things music related because there's also the TV side of the music. There is, um, there's, so that's productions, uh, like copycat productions. And then we also have, apart from entertainment, you know, the marketing, we're marketing our music as well. And then um, hopefully we hope to be able to market others as well and uh, raise new artists. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. get involved with Jingles. Yeah. You know, we've, we've been always involved with Jingles and, you know, soundtracks and all that. And uh, of course, we are, we're also dabbling into real estate these days. Um, yeah 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 that's a new one that's a new one so that's that's also interesting but, yeah um, that's the future i mean that's that's the one business you can do in nigeria that you can be rest assured that you will see your 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 profits in the future real estate it's, it's capital intensive yeah but if you can get involved please do you're welcome <laughs> you, need, you need more investors <laughs> The NMVA, the NMVA awards, I think they're the ones we hold very, very dear to us. Um, we have, we've had, we have others now. I'm not start listing them, but they're right there on the shelf. Um, uh, a lot of them are, are awards that they're not, they're not competitive per se, but awards that appreciate and honor us for everything we do in our career as a couple in our marriage and um, in society generally so those we really appreciate as well i'm on twitter even that one was like they twisted my arm <laughs> you can you can you can find me on at i am tunde obey on twitter who is the social media <laughs> social media guru <laughs> well, you, you, you can find me uh, at, at Wumi Obey on Twitter, Wumi Tunde Obey on Facebook, and Wumi Obey on Instagram. Well, it's been great hanging out with you guys right here on Personality of the Week on Nigeria. Um, we hope you've learned a little bit more about TWO too. Um, you can always like hook us up on on, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and we'd be glad to answer any other questions that we didn't answer right here. That's right, and we hope that at the same time we hope that you have learned something a little or a lot from uh, our interview today. We hope you've been able to get some kind of inspiration, and your life is the better for it. So. Keep it locked right here on Nigeria. That's right. Most Don't go away. This is personality profile. profile.